Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in, as always. If it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, also a big thank you to those that have been giving me a phone call over the last few weeks and visiting our Optics weekends to make a purchase. Very much appreciated, it really is. Thank you for supporting the local smaller independent. So, we're looking today at, well it doesn't look much like a telescope at the moment, believe me it is, the Skywatcher Heritage 130p. Now, other than the eyepiece and the finder scope, which I've already put on, this, this is very similar to what it will be like when you get it out of the box. So it's pre-assembled. So all you have to do is you have a couple of adjustments here, little screws, undo them, pull it out, and now, hopefully, that's looking a bit more like a telescope and it is a basic alt azimuth type mount very very easy to maneuver around extremely compact scope it weighs just over six kilograms so the, the weight of a couple of large spotting scopes very very lightweight if you want to put it in the back seat of the car and take to a dark sky location. It's um, 130mm parabolic mirror, 650mm focal length and it comes with a 26 and 65 times eyepiece which are both modified acromatics which which are budget but they 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 are, they are okay believe me there's there are some scopes out there with horrific stock eyepieces but these are fantastic to get you started. On the subject of the focuser, well that's the 12 inch Topsonian by the way, on the subject of the focuser, it's not your standard uh, rack and pinion as you can see, there are no wheels there either side of it, it's a helical focuser so you twist it in and out to achieve focus. Um, that's uh, a bit of a love-hate rela relationship, some people like that sort of focuser, other people don't. I think it's very good and it stays nicely in place. It's not going to drift, uh, creep down and go out of focus. And you come with a, a red dot finder which simply slides on but there are the instructions that you get with it that show how to fit. A, a good, other than the compactness of this OTA and the lightweight design, it's also very good for maintenance because you've got your secondary mirror behind here and also your primary mirror down here and it, so if you've got a dust blower fit of dust easy easy to to um, access the both the mirrors and turning it round you have the collimation screws which are very easy to get to but don't worry about that because the chances are it's going to be in collimation when you get it out. So again, very, very easy to manoeuvre. It is a wide field scope. Um, you, you can get different eyepieces if you want a little bit more magnification, but these are fine to, to get you uh, started. So what are you going to see with it? Well, most people when they ring me up or email, email, we, email me, sorry, will ask the T the two main topics of um, are can you see the moon with it and can you see Jupiter with it and those two objects are, are fine I would say for getting you started yes you're going to see the moon you're going to see the craters the mountains and the valleys even with these <coughs> excuse me these two eyepieces at 65 magnification you look at Jupiter you're going to see the four Galilean satellites very easily if you see three, don't worry because the chances are one of them is either in front or behind the, the disc. So no problem there at all. But this is a 130mm parabolic mirror. It is a very, it, it is certainly not a toy telescope. It may look like one but it isn't. And so with that mirror that you can see at the back, And it does come, as you can see, with a little dot in the centre to, to aid collimation. So, what are you going to see with this scope other than the two usual objects? Let's just check the focus there. Um, 
there are countless, countless double stars out there. M many stars that you see with the naked eye. They're just a single point of light. With this, many of them, to give a couple of examples, Gamma Delphinius and Alberio in Cygnus, which is a very colourful double star and very, very easy to see. In fact, you can see it with binoculars. You look through this telescope, and what you can see, one star with the naked eye, you will see a couple of um, yellow and blue or gold and green, depending on uh, what sort of colours your eye see, but nevertheless two very contrasting colours and it's a double star worth looking at. You, From a dark sky location, and with it being compact, you can take this to a dark sky, you're going to see many galaxies, star clusters and, and nebula. Uh, the for example, a few easy targets to start with. The Andromeda Galaxy. Um, I would say M81, M82 in, in Ursa Major, well within the reach of this telescope. Um, planetary nebula, such as the Dumbbell Nebula, uh, should be very, very easy. Uh, a limitless amount of star clusters and nebula such as the Orion Nebula as well uh, that you'll be able to see, see during the late winter and in, into January, February. So this telescope it's not just about the Moon and Jupiter. Uh, get, get yourself a, a good night sky book or one of the monthly magazines, plenty of online resources and look up interesting objects to see on any particular night and this telescope will definitely be able to bring so many night sky objects into into reach and it's a fantastic little scope um, if you want to support our channel it is available to purchase in the link below and so as always I, I hope you enjoyed watching this just very quick look at the sky which heritage 130p uh, and we'll see you soon bye bye for now